So for today, itutuloy natin yung ating basic navigation lessons. At ngayon, ang ituturo ko sa inyo is finding estimated time of departure. In finding estimated time of departure with the same zone descriptions, ang gagawin lang natin is again, get the steaming time or the ST, then subtract A2, the estimated time of arrival. Ang formula natin is estimated time of arrival minus steaming time is equal to estimated time of departure. So as a review, para makuha natin yung steaming time natin, kailangan natin gumamit ng DST pyramid. For our example, scenario 5, if MV Denver arrive at Port of Antigua, Philippines at 0300 hours on April 27, 2020 and sailed at an average speed of 12 knots in a total distance of 321 nautical miles, what is the date and time when MV Denver left the Port of Batangas? So as we can see, ang ating Port of Departure is Antigua, Philippines and ang estimated time of arrival natin is 27th of April 2020, 0300 hours. And ang port of arrival natin is Batangas Port with the total distance of 321 nautical mile and an average speed of 12 knots. So para makuha natin yung steaming time natin, gagamitin natin yung DST. So ano wawala natin is yung time. 321 nautical miles divided by 12 knots is equal to 26.75 hours. So, tatanggalin natin yung decimal point. 26 divided by 24 is 1.08 or 1 day. So, para makuha naman natin yung total na hours, 1 times 24 is equal to 24 minus 26 is equal to 2 hours. Again, ibabalik natin yung 0.75. Ita times natin siya sa 60 para makuha natin yung minutes. 0.75 25 times 60 is equal to 45 minutes. So, ang steaming time natin is 1 day, 2 hours, and 45 minutes. So, para makuha natin yung estimated time of departure natin, isusubtract natin yung steaming time natin sa estimated time of arrival. So, April 27, 2020, 0,300 hours minus 1 day, 0,245 hours. So, ang estimated time of departure natin is April 26, 2020, 0,055 hours. So that's it for the computation of estimated time of departure.